fantastic. We just showed that that BD is 10,98. And our next question asks us now that we must determine the perimeter. What is the perimeter? The perimeter is the lengths of all your sides too. Together. So look at the sketch again. I must find the perimeter. So it's going to be that side, its length, which I have already. It's 3 plus 9,5, which I have already. Now I need to find DC or you can go and find BC. Grade 12, if you have DC, you don't need to go and find BC because the lengths are equal. Why is BC equal to DC? Because those angles were equal to each other. So that means it is an isosceles triangle. So come we go find BC. If I want to find BC, now you must think with me. Are we going to use the cos rule or are we going to use the sin rule? Cos rule needs three sides. Can we check if we have three sides? I'm going to close this triangle because you know you're going to be working in this triangle now. Do I have three sides? No. I only have the one side which is 10,98. I just worked it out. Okay, so it can't be that. Do I have two sides and an included angle? Absolutely not. So definitely this is the sin rule. Okay, so come we're going to work out the sin rule together. Whatever I'm writing grade 12, you write it down as well. We want to go find the length of BC. Okay, so now we start. I need to find BC and I'm going to use my sin rule. So I'm going to say BC divided by the sin. Now you check. What angle is opposite BC? That is BC. What angle is opposite it? 67 degrees is equal to. Now you're going to work with a 10,98 because that is the only side that you have. So it's 10,98 divided by the sin of. I know you know this. I don't have this angle opposite 10,98. I don't have it, but we can work it out. How are we going to work it out? It's going to be 180 minus 67 minus 67. And I get an angle of 46 degrees there. Why is it 46? Because the angles within a triangle gives me 180 degrees. So I have BC over the sin of 67, that is opposite BC, is equal to 10,98 over the sin of 46 degrees. I want you grade 12s, if you know what to do, to send in the answer for me. There is Brian. You already got the answer of 14,05. That is fantastic. What did you do to get it? We are going to cross multiply. I have an equal to sign there and I'm going to cross multiply. I'm going to say BC multiplied by the sin of 46 degrees is equal to 10,98 times the sin of 67 degrees. If I want BC alone, I'm going to say BC is equal to 10,98 times the sin of 67 divided by the sin of 46 degrees. Okay, everybody, on your calculators, I cross multiplied because cross multiplied because there's an equal to sign. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch this in on my calculator. It is 10.98 multiplied by the sin of 67. Listen, everybody, before I press divided by, say equal to, then I divide by the sin of 46 equals 
what do we get? We get 14,05. Everybody sit on your calculators. Did you all get 14,05 meters? All right. Everybody, Ashwin of Sinin Yongo High School, you got 14,05. Calvin Lee Bridgens, you know you can round off that answer there as 14,05. And then can I, oh, there's T Tabita Bowers, you also sent in 14,05. All right. Now we have um, the one school, school 113 and all right. Can you call this number school 113 and school 114? Everybody with sound problems, can you please call this number 021-808-3564. 021-808-3564. If you have a sound problem, please phone this number now and we, and we can sort this out for you. All right. All right. Everybody, did you get 14,05? That was fantastic. Just remember, if I have an equal to sign, I can cross multiply. I'm so happy, Sinazo, you got 14,05. That is fantastic. You're from Allo Secondary School, and I'm so happy you guys got this. Just remember, somebody asked me, I just want to go to the, to the screen, and somebody asked me, what do you need to use the sin rule? Remember quickly, I said, if you have three sides, it's the cos rule. If you have two sides and an included angle, it is the cos rule. All the other cases will be the sin rule. 14,05, we've got that. That was fantastic.